Have you ever felt overwhelmed by the fast paced nature of business and keeping up with all these systems and softwares to revolutionize both your business, your content creation journey, and your personal brand? Well, if you've come to this video, you're in luck. What I'm gonna do in this video is show you the three AI tools that you need to be using in 2023 to revolutionize both your content creation process, your business tasks, and most importantly, revolutionize and streamline your production line within your company or your ecosystem. So if you're not going to adopt AI in 2023, or at least start integrating it into your businesses, you are going to get left behind. And when I say left behind, you're purely not going to be able to do the quantity of tasks that anyone else can do for a smaller or less uh, amount of money or time spent on those same tasks that you're doing manually. So in this video, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you three AI softwares that can revolutionize this process for you. And the first one is Zapier. So I've been using Zapier for such a long time. I can't even remember. I would have to actually go into the software to look when I signed up, but I, I have a feeling it's around like 2018, 2019, and it's now 2023. And it has been the backbone of the majority of our streamlined processes for our clients and also my own um, production, also content creation and so forth. And the reason why it's so powerful is that it can streamline processes such as um, when a client wants a new design process. So on the screen right now, you're literally seeing the same workflow that we're using currently right now to manage our design tasks for our clients. So part of our business is that we, we take a business on and they, we create uh, graphic designs, videos, content creation, all of that stuff. Like we cover so many different things, but that's not the point of this video. But you can see on screen right now that literally it's like three or four steps as soon as someone uh, on their Trello board requests the design of whatever it is, it replicates that in our own um, design board on Trello so that our designers can get instantly start getting started or at the same time at least give our clients an indication of how long that task is going to take. We normally take you know, anywhere between one day to three days to get a design task back to a specific client. So the second thing that we use with Zapier and something that's a little bit more advanced than the first example that I showed you is an onboarding experience. We have two or three different variations of onboardings for different types of clients. As you can imagine, onboarding is a super valuable part of how we can help clients scale and then enhance the um, quality of a customer's experience for this specific client. So you can see on screen right now that we've literally got uh, Stripe, Active Campaign, Text Magic, and Google Sheets working simultaneously within the space of about a five minute period of time. So as soon as someone starts paying for this specific event for this specific client, it triggers a creation of a, um, a, a contact with an active campaign. Now that contact is super valuable because a lot of the stuff that we do in email marketing is, is used with an active campaign. That's really what we use as the ecosystem of email marketing. And what we do is we create tags, lists, automations, and so forth. So that integration from, from using Stripe to Active Campaign can then trigger um, nurture flows and so forth within Active Campaign itself. We then also create a contact within TextMagic. TextMagic is our um, text uh, SMS marketing services um, provider that we use. We've used them for years and they've been awesome. And then what we actually do is we send a message within TextMagic just confirming that they've made that payment because there is this like, a window of um, scarcity for that client when they've made a purchase. So we just really confirm that. And then what we do is we just update the Google Sheet for the specific client so they can see how many um, uh, paid attendees they've had within this event. Third and finally, bringing it all together, another uh, three-step process here in Zapier, and it's to do with creating uh, testimonials or creating um, social media content for this specific client. So what we do in this sequence is we use Google Forms, Slack, and Trello again. So Trello is one of our biggest um, CRMs in terms of the way that we use um, for client and, and seeing all their designs. It's really simple because as soon as a client is ready to leave or ready to finish, um, they can keep that Trello board and everything is in one place. You don't have to worry about all these emails and so forth. And another thing is, it's just really easy to use on both mobile and on desktop. So this specific one, we use Google Forms. So we ask specific questions to the attendees of this specific event. We get all the information that we can use for both um, written testimonials, video testimonials, and we can create really cool um, nurture campaigns and social media content for this specific client. We then send a internal Slack message to our team via Slack. 
and then we create a Trello card ready for our design team to start working on that as soon as their um, flow is, is, is ready for another task to be created. So there you can see in three different examples, very broad terms and very broad kind of uh, nature, how powerful Zapier can be. And literally guys, most of these tasks take about five to 10 minutes. And on average, I think we do 800 to 1000 zaps a week. Um, and in order for that to happen efficiently and effectively and to manage the amount of clients that we have and the, manage the amount of people that we work with, Zapier is an in, like, integral part of our ecosystem and one of the really cool ways that AI is revolutionizing the way that we can use um, technology and, and, and systems going forward in, in 2023. So the second piece of AI technology that has adapted the way that we personally work um, within our agency, but at the same time, I feel like you can get massive value for if you're watching this video and you want to start creating um, a lot of social media content in 2023 is Jasper. Now, everyone talks about ChatGPT and hardly anyone talks about Jasper and the power that they bring to the table. Now, they both use the same kind of networks and the same systems. They're just different companies in, in general. Um, I've been with Jasper for a very, very long time. I've been through their rebranding process. I've been in their you know, masterminds and so forth. And I absolutely love what they do as a company. I'm really, um, it's an integral part of how we operate and how we create um, content and, and, and really cool ways to help our clients create content for themselves. So Jasper is effectively an on-brand AI content creator um, for your business. It really replicates um, how you talk as an individual. They released something um, just recently called Brand Voice. So the more data you give this machine, the better it's gonna be and the more on-brand it's gonna be for your business. Um, and your content creation going forward. So don't feel like you're gonna put all of these um, different kind of uh, informative pieces of information into different parts of Jasper, um, and it's just gonna spare out something that someone can easily feel like it wasn't you that's writing. But obviously what you've got to remember, like any machine, the more information you feed it, the better outcome it's gonna be. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you three of the best um, prompts that you can use within this software. And if you want links to any of this guys, Zapier um, and, and Jasper, all you have to do is click the bio of this video and there's a link directing it to you. Um, you don't have to sign up to it, um, but it's really just if you want more information outside of this video. So the first one that I would go to is TikTok uh, captions. The reason being is that I feel like people still don't really understand the power of TikTok, the SEO capabilities, and how I feel like in the next four to five years, TikTok is gonna replace Google in terms of the primary search engine. More people want video um, informative, inf uh, informative ways to create things like meals and so forth, rather than just reading a recipe on a Google um, landing page of some sort. So what you can do is literally like I've put one already in here um, from a previous video that I made and it's it's literally saying coming to, uh, coming out of my YouTube hibernation in good times after seeing uh, and in good time after seeing Rode has released another game changing product. So and then what I do once I've finished that, that, that segment is I just literally put in the tone of voice. Now the tone of voice is going to be really important to how you want this piece of content to translate. And then obviously if I want to include any keywords I can. So if I just generate that, now most important you've got to realize is that this is not perfect. The editing phase starts now. So on the right hand side, you can literally see it just outputs three pieces of content. You can change that by the bottom of the screen. You can put 10 or whatever. The, the smaller amount, the better quality. Um, it, it, what I've found anyway, and, and I've used this piece of software for, for years. So you can see on the right hand side, you could take any of those if you want to, but remember, it's all about the editing. You've still got to do the work. This is not going to um, complete 100% of the task. Your expertise is why you've got yourself in this position. So you've still got to put that. But a lot of the legwork, you can see how quickly that was. It was probably like 20 seconds, right? So that's why it's super important to realize that, hey, these little tasks of writing descriptions, um, keyword optimization, SEO, and so forth, that's, that's good. Let, the, let AI do that, right? Like you're gonna, you can employ someone that's an SEO specialist, but why not get AI to do it? So you can actually start seeing how you could probably replicate things in your business. I'm not saying going out and firing people, but for those smaller brands or smaller businesses or the, the one man bands, this piece of content is gonna be super powerful for you. Uh, sorry, this piece of software is gonna be super powerful for you. So 
it's going to be really important that you can start taking notes and I'm, I'm hoping you're you're enjoying this so far so far all right so the second uh tool that i would suggest using in uh, jasper is something called one shot blog post and the reason why i suggest this is because majority of businesses are not understanding the importance of having blog posts people consume content and most importantly at the moment while you know we're making this transition from google to tiktok in terms of the search engine you've got to play the game and the game is having seo keywords within your website so that google can recognize you as an expert so the one shot blog post is a really simple tool for majority of you guys there again like i'm saying and i've repeated myself over and over again this is not going to do 100 percent of the job you've still got to edit you've still got to proofread you've still got to put your own kind of um two cents in in terms of making sure it's you know yours and your brands and of course making sure that any factual information is correct so you're not plagiarizing and so forth so you can see here the prompts are blog blog topic tone of tone, tone of voice and then intended people right so if i was to if i was to look at the blog topic i'm just saying if you're not adopting ai you'll be left behind but here are three tools zapier jasper opus clip transform your business so those are the three tools that i'm talking about in this video and for the sake of this video as well i'm going to create this blog post put it onto my website and you'll be able to see that live in the link below i've also done tone of voice copywriter and intended audience i'm just going to put very easily uh business owners right and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to go generate and you can see here that was probably what five or ten seconds and you've got a really good uh factual uh blog post talking about how ai can transform your business using those three pieces of software all right third and finally the last prompt that i would suggest using if you're going to go use jasper as your ai um, sidekick is the youtube titles obviously youtube is a massive machine and it's such a crowded uh, ecosystem or market space that you you really when you're starting off need to take everything um, that you can at your disposal to make sure that you're going to be able to prioritize or rank your videos on youtube especially in a crowded space like mine is in the marketing and software space so here again it's giving you three different prompts what is your video about keywords to rank for and tone of voice so you can start seeing the kind of commonalities of of what it's asking you so tone of voice is also a massive thing that they ask you for and again like i said i've always put copywriter in at the moment that seems to be working really well for me keywords obviously zapier jasper and opus clip um side note youtube have actually integrated something um, that you can research basic topics so i know for a fact that these specific topics are being looked for on youtube and again what is your video about so if i go generate it's going to generate me again three uh inputs or three outputs sorry of youtube titles so you can start seeing here again some of them are really cheesy some of them probably aren't going to be useful but you will probably get something in there that's going to give you the the edge over someone else pre creating the same content because realistically youtube is filled with people repurposing or recreating the same content in different ways so you could release four or five different um, variations of the same youtube video and you can start changing those titles within the you know hours of you publishing and so forth which is you know again what people do they change the titles they change the thumbnails so it brings in more people that necessarily are searching different key terms so the last software that i would suggest using is opus clip and the reason being is that i feel like there's there's a lot by the way there's a lot of softwares that can do the same thing but like I've said with, let's say, the companies like Rode um, and you know Shaw and all of these businesses, once I find a business that I trust and I feel like can generate me consistent, high quality outputs, whether it's content, whether it's voice, whether it's audio, whether it's um, production, whatever, I tend to just stick with them and grow with them as a company. And, and Opus Clip, um, I've actually done work for in the past. I've created some content for them. Um, this isn't sponsored by the way, but I have created content for them in the past. Um, and, and what I love about them is both the community and the output that it does. You know, you could literally take a YouTube link and create 10, you know, five to 10 short form content uh, social media clips that you can use on TikTok, Instagram, um, YouTube Shorts, and, and even LinkedIn these days uh, that is based on the same work that you put in to your YouTube video. So it goes from creating uh, content to documenting content and one of the biggest changes i feel like in the social media space is the adoption and the mindset shift from 
documenting your process rather than creating content for the sake of creating it. And one of the biggest reasons why that happens is because I put this YouTube video into Opus Clip and it generates me five to 10 high performing uh, pieces of content that I can use on TikTok, Instagram, YouTube Shorts, and the like. So the revolutionary way that this works is effectively you just go to your YouTube uh, homepage, grab a video that you wanna create some social media clips for, and you can go on the top and just copy and paste. What Opus Clips does is understand, okay, what video is that? As you can see, it's the Rode Wireless Pro video I did previously. So once you put that link into the generator, it will come up with the video that you're talking about just to make sure it's the right link. Sometimes your links get confused. The last thing you wanna do um, is spend your credits on something that you don't want to actually produce on. So you can see here that it's the Rode Wireless Pro video I did previously. Uh, and the cool thing is, is there's something called processing timeframe. This processing time frame means that you can effectively say, okay, I have a 40, like for this example, I have a 12 minute video, but let's say you have a 30 minute video. Let's say you know subconsciously that about 15 minutes, it, there's a lot of clips that I wanted to get out, uh, especially let's say for example, a podcast, um, which Opus Clip is great for. So then you would just go, okay, I want it to go from the first 15 minutes of so zero to 15 rather than zero to 30. And that saves you some credits. You can also say your preferred clip length. So obviously some platforms like TikTok have longer um, duration um, ability to upload. So TikTok, you can do 10 minutes. Instagram, you can do 90 seconds. Uh, Facebook Reels, you can do 90 seconds. YouTube Shorts, you can do 60 seconds. So you can see how there's no point creating longer form content like you know uh, 90 to three minutes if you wanna produce it on all platforms. You wanna have that sweet spot maybe between 60 to 90 seconds just so that you can repurpose that content uh, on all platforms, which I highly suggest doing. Finally, it gives you a topic filter. It means that you can create keywords like I talked about before. I want this one, for example, to prioritize anytime I say road, anytime I say wireless, and anytime I say pro, because obviously that's talking about a specific topic. If I was to do it for this video, I would do it for Jasper, uh, Zapier, and Opus Clip because that just gives the AI system within uh, Opus Clip the ability to go, okay, let's prioritize anytime they say this specific keyword, which kind of reduces the amount of clips you might get, but increase, increases the quality of those clips as well. So once you've done that, all of that, you can just say get clip. So you can see here, the first one is 99, which is great. I would probably automatically download that, but you can actually just preview it. You can see it's 44 seconds. So that fits into my framework on majority of platforms. Um, you can see the second one is 92. You can see the difference from 92 to 85. And it actually explains why that is. And that's really cool because obviously the everyday person going into this and let's say you're just starting a social media journey or you're creating some UGC clips or you're creating uh, some clips for let's say a client and you want to be able to sell this for a service uh, you'd be able to go and say okay well these ones are going to do really really well because of x y and z um, and these ones aren't because of x y and z it's a really good coaching point it's a really good self-reflection point because you can just internally learn about how you're presenting and how you're creating content for yourself and obviously if I want this, I can just go download and it will download in HD. When I say HD, I mean 1080p. So there you have it. In this video, what I've done is I've shown you three different AI tools that are gonna revolutionize the way that you create your social media content for yourself, your brand, your business, and your portfolio. Whether you're trying to sell this as a service, whether you're trying to revolutionize and streamline your production line, or whether you're just trying to get better at creating content in 2023, this YouTube video was the YouTube video that hopefully answered a majority of your questions. Of course, if you have any questions, comment down below. I've loved the feedback from my videos since being back on YouTube, and it's been a pleasure creating content in a way that can naturally resonate with the audiences that watch this. If you have loved this video, please make sure you hit that subscribe bell, hit that notification so that every time I post, you're gonna get a notification. It helps with the algorithm, it helps my channel grow. And most importantly, I'll see you guys in the next video.